everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. This run today is an interesting one suggested by YouTube user The Fourth Pianist, which just keep that name in mind if you have a juvenile sense of humor like myself, as you realize that the run is called Every Sperm is Sacred, based on the Monty Python film. I believe it was The Meaning of Life, but it's been a while. There's a musical number in the film tied to, you know, only having sex for procreation called Every Sperm is Sacred. So we are going to be shooting uh, some sticky icky out of our eyes here unfortunately just imagine that this is ejaculate as opposed to the tears of a sad boy we have number one which actually we do not have number one is that the huge mistake I've made is that why it doesn't look right we're gonna add item when entering the next room it doesn't seem like we have number one here For some reason this run is proving a little difficult setup so let's walk in here number one is this actually no maybe we did have number one already all right I'll accept it Normally, number one gives us a little bit lower range than that, which is why I thought that was super weird, but oh well, we'll take it. So we have number one, Quad Shot, which is Mutant Spider, as you can see by the four eyes that we have. Uh, Sacred Heart, as well as Spider Bite. So we've got some killer items here uh, designed to create our ejaculate. Uh, but as conditions, we can't take any item that is innately evil, so we can't take any deals with the devil. I'm not going to take any items at all, except for boss items, uh, because we absolutely have, like, huge upgrades already, as you can see. We basically have, like, homing tiers that do an unbelievable amount of damage. Uh, additionally, we can't take any items at all that discolor our tiers, so I'm going to be sticking primarily, or possibly exclusively, to boss items. Uh, and at the very least, I'm going to be focusing on stat upgrades, particularly range, because normally range is pretty low. Uh, and we are going to reroll this and pick up a range upgrade. Awesome. I don't think Mom's panties are innately evil, so I'm just going to try to stick to the conditions of this challenge run. We are starting with, undoubtedly, uh, a sweet combination here. So I'm, I'm not going to try to abuse that, even though within the conditions of the run, the fourth pianist chuckle chuckle uh, did not mention anything about not using item rooms I think in order to keep the game balanced as funny as it would have been to take brother Bobby and in possibly uh, in its keeping with the theme uh, of the Monty Python story or movie I should say uh, it would have been funny to take brother Bobby for every sperm is sacred given that he is what like an aborted fetus or something I don't really know or maybe just a child that died uh, we are gonna get ready to now nah, you know what we'll take the eight balls probably a sign of the occult basically so we should reroll it is what I'm thinking um, yeah, as, as appropriate as it might have been thematically, I'm starting to think that going to item rooms would imbalance the run, so instead we're going to keep it uh, as balanced as possible, because we already have so many advantages working out in our favor. I mean, not least of which is the fact that we have the D6, which basically means we can take a spacebar item here. Uh, we can't take any evil spacebar items, not even quasi-evil. Uh, so meat is obviously going to be fine for us. I don't think that discolors our tears. Excellent. Uh, gives us sweet ass eyebrows. We have like under eyebrows considering we have the four eyes there. Uh, but yes, so the space bar slot is open. We, what I'm trying to get at is we have a lot of things working out in our favor. We are going to be on a labyrinth floor here. But it is not necessarily a run that 100% guarantees success. We are going to absolutely need some health. Uh, in order to make things work out for us, we are going to need probably a good spacebar item. Uh, to get a lot of HP and then get use Guppy's Paw might be a viable situation to put us in permanent invincibility via the Polaroid. We might even want to go to that library back there and see if we can get a Book of Revelations, which is certainly not innately evil. I think the reason he said innately evil is because otherwise we could find ourselves gummed up in all these questions of like, Oh, is... Uh, the, our tarot cards evil. Tarot cards, by the way, are, are on the table as listed in the, the challenge run, the top comment itself. Um, is, uh, what would be a good space bar? Is Unicorn Horn evil? I don't know. I, I can't understand why it would be. But I, what I'm trying to get at is, inarguably, there are some evil items in the game, and those are the ones that we're going to avoid. Everything else that could possibly be open to interpretation, reasonably speaking, uh, we are going to uh, say are on the table right now. So, I do have a key. I could use that to go to the library. In fact, I might as well use that to go to the library. The only thing getting me is that I'm thinking, like, what could possibly be in the library that would benefit us? Book of Revelations is basically the only one. It might be uh, the most valuable one, too, but it might be the only one, which gives us a pretty low chance of making that happen. I almost walked onto the spikes there. Uh, but apart from this, since we're not going to item rooms and we're not going to shops, we can basically speed run every single floor which is okay in my books because I always like these runs where you can make things happen very quickly you know what we do have book of revelations I think we should take it it's gonna allow us to amass some more spirit hearts especially if we end up in a situation where we get uh, a guppy's paw or something or well I guess we can't get a battery from the shop because we're not going to shops but you know maybe demon judgment hooks us up or something uh, that would be awesome for us but anyway I'm getting too far ahead of myself we're only on the uh, third and fourth floors here with respect to our bosses. Technically, we're only on, like, the, the third floor, but, you know, since it's a double floor, you probably get what I'm saying. You don't need me to explain it. And hopefully, we're not going to reach a dead end here. 
I would love to pick up some kind of great defensive item, a la like a flying item or something like that. And I would love to start the trend of getting deals with the angel instead of deals with the devil. We already have sacred tears, but you know, transcendence or holy grail or dead dove. Uh, the miter, the relic, any of those would be awesome pickups. So I'm hoping that I can possibly coerce Pestilence into shoot- Oh, I just walked on the spikes. Uh, into shooting that right there, and he did. Um, we can't take the rock, because the rock is going to discolor our tears. But we can take the Spirit Heart regardless, and the Cube of Meat, which I think is not- It's not arguable, or it is arguable whether that's an evil item, I should say. What I'm trying to get at, that was a very poor way of putting it, is it's not decidedly an evil item. You could probably make a case that, I don't know, maybe meat is murder, but... Uh, I don't think that it is. By the way, I wasn't trying to get on vegetarians with that meat is murder comments. I was a vegetarian myself for a while. I appreciate all you guys do. Keep up the good work. Don't let the man get you down. You gotta fly like an eagle, not be like a turkey. So we're going down to the next floor. So far, so good, I would say. We still got non-discolored tears, which was my main concern for this run. We're obviously gonna ignore the deal with the devil, and we are trucking right along. I would love to pick up a compass or a map. Sadly, that's impossible. It almost sounds like I could just be using, like, a Northern Lion soundboard right now. We're on the third floor. We're on the third set of floors. What should I say? Say something about the compass and the map. I should prank call somebody using my voice. That would actually be the lamest prank call of all time. Hello? Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. Who is this? I don't, I don't even know my other catchphrases. Who is this? The Northern Lion story. All right, I'm calling the police. I don't even know. Fuck tables. Do I have catchphrases? I have a few catchphrases, I would say. Used to have the catchphrase, it's all coming to Millhouse. Then people were like, hey, Northern Lion, why did you steal SSOHPKC's catchphrase? And I'm like, motherfucker, is that Matt Graining? And I think it is pronounced Graining. That was some terrible baiting on that uh, set of spikes there. No disrespect to that Let's Player, by the way. I don't want your stuff, I'm just trying to say. People are always saying, you know, you're stealing catchphrases from elsewhere. Man, we all grew up and we're all like 90s era kids who have now grown up and we're using those catchphrases ourselves because that's the only way we know how to be funny. So I'm gonna take this cube of meat and again we're going down to the next floor so far so good a little low on health. I don't know how we're gonna get Guppy's paw because basically the only way to get it is from deals with the devil but we are gonna be fighting mom here like I said it's a fast and furious run we definitely have the potential uh, to make things happen damage wise here do we have the potential to make things happen health wise Yes, but in order to do so, I think we need one more item a la the relic or the nail. Please be a stats upgrade. Alright, well that's not terrible. Uh, yeah, the relic or the nail would be huge. Or, uh, sorry, not the nail, the relic or the miter. Or uh, a flying item. Likely uh, dead dove or uh, transcendence or holy grail because we're only allowed to take... Uh, non-evil items and I would certainly say that you know something like spirit of the night is evil plus we get it from a deal with the devil so it's inaccessible to us regardless it's amazing how much of my standard gameplay is restricted by deals with the devil to the point where even though we have amazing items here I am a little bit skeptical of our chances of beating the entirety of the game simply because of the fact that you know a lot of my normal avenues to success are uh, limited to me. so we're at like eight minutes already going through mom which is awesome for us. We shouldn't have to worry too much about crowd control. I mean, the homing shots are not going to do us any favors when Mom's foot is not around. But when Mom's foot is around, uh, it's going to allow us to do a ton of damage to her really, relatively quickly. So we're just going to keep this up. So far, so good. The foot's going to not even know what hit it here. And, well, it still took some way more damage than I should have. But probably in one or two more barrages. Uh, oh, man, that was, again, some awful damage. Lost way too many spirit hearts here. It's pretty much unjustifiable. We are going to take the crate, that's going to give us at least one of our spirit hearts back. Obviously we need the Polaroid. We're not going to be able to take the Hermit with us if we take the pill with us. Isaac's head is a decent trinket, but we can't take that with us because we have to roll with the Polaroid, obviously. And we'll just quickly see what the pill does. Speed up. That's an advantage, I'd say, in our current situation. Uh, so we are going to be able to take the Hermit with us, never mind. So we're going to go down to the next floor. And uh, 10 minutes to be at this point is pretty spectacular, but again, I'm not 100% sure that we have good chances here. Although I will say that uh, being on the Womb XL, if we get a lucky Hermit here that takes us very close to the boss, uh, that might be... It's terrible again. That might be huge for us. We could potentially not even have to deal with the Womb. Save some of this health, maybe amass some Spirit Hearts before the boss. And the boss fights are really the easiest part of the game for us at, at this current juncture. Because we're not having to deal with multiple enemies, which means there's very little chance for us to get hit. Obviously that mom fight was an exception because I did very poorly in it. There's no conceptual reason it's why it's an exception, but there is a, you know, a, a reason grounded well within reality, I would say. 
at least specific to my situation. So I don't know if we're exactly going in the right direction to uh, find, I'm just kind of feeling out the rest of the map right here. So far, every sperm has definitely been sacred as we've made our way through here. Uh, each one has allowed us to do a substantial amount of damage to enemies. Maybe that's what he meant. I, th I thought the reason he was giving me quad shot was to make it seem like, oh, awesome. This is, that hermit carp is actually really big for us. Allowed us to skip a ton of rooms, which is maybe not a great thing because we are not using the Book of Revelations as much as possible. Uh, but I think it's a great thing. So we're basically just going to flood the sky with as many uh, tears as we can. Because then as soon as he pops out, they will home in on him. Uh, and do a ton of damage. Although, you know, I fought Skolex in the last video. It didn't go too well for me. Sadly, because Skolex is usually pretty easy. I mean, it went fine. I, I still won. Oh, that was a ton of damage. Uh, I still won, like I said, but unfortunately, uh, it took forever to kill. I don't know why. I'm not sure if Skolex has been buffed or something, but he, he, I feel like he's much harder to hit. Maybe it's just because I don't have Brimstone every single time anymore. Or Mom's Knife. Obviously, we're going to take this HP upgrade. Rotten Meat, not innately evil, but certainly... You know, not a favorite around the uh, Northern Lion dinner table. Unless we're all out of groceries. So I'm going to drop a bomb in here. That was a joke, by the way. I would, even if we were out of groceries, I would never eat rotten meat. Maybe if I was in, like, a live, you know, that movie and also real-life plane crash where the Uruguayan um, rugby team ended up stranded on, like, the... Oh, I think it was the Andes. Yeah, they ended up stranded in the Andes and had to eat their... Or choose to eat their uh, fallen comrades uh, to survive. Maybe in that situation I would eat some rotten human meat, but mostly just to try it, you know, just to say that I've done it. Yeah, I've eaten a human. Big deal. We're gonna go up to the cathedral now. I can't believe we're on the cathedral at only 12 minutes. I mean, we did start with some unbelievably good items. Still, that's pretty quick. Now, do we have chances? Very good question. Uh, we are gonna get some spirit hearts, probably by way of this, as well as uh, after our next battle, we will get a uh, Book of Revelations charge. And we're gonna be able to s oh, that was terrible dodging. We're gonna be able to slow Isaac, which is gonna be great for us. Because that's gonna make our dodging a hundred times easier. As you can see, a little microcosm of as we fight Loki here. Uh, but I don't know. Maggie's Faith, yeah, that would be an awesome trinket like ten floors ago. Sadly, we can't do too much about that right now. Uh, but the other thing is we're gonna be hitting him with a lot of shots, which is possibly... Uh, gonna be our downfall, but I think we can get through Isaac. We have enough keys to open items on the chest again Once you get to the chest as usual all items or sorry all bets are basically off uh, I feel like we should be able to take whatever we get because the game gets kind of unreasonably difficult That was some terrible dodging We are out of spirit hearts, but at least we still have regular hearts and the steam sale Which we're just going to abandon out of principle essentially because There's no reason out of protest not necessarily out of principle but out of, out of protest because it's, it's such a bad item Maybe that'll send a message to the troll engine. Don't F with me troll engine Stop giving me these useless items so late in the game. Now, I would love to have all of my health for this fight against Isaac, which may very well be coming up. Please give me a red heart. By the way, we have a bunch of red hearts back here. What am I thinking? All right, luck up. A little late for that to be super useful, but it might actually come in handy. There's a heart. And we're going to be fighting Isaac here around the 15-minute mark in all likelihood. We're going to get a spirit heart from this fight, so hopefully I can kill these guys before they get close to me. That was actually surprisingly easy. Do we have a chance against Isaac? Absolutely. I think we've got a decent opportunity here. There's going to be a lot of dodging to be had. Meat Boy is going to be a huge element in this, obviously, joking. Uh, the good thing is we're doing a ton of damage. The bad thing is, seriously, just like a wall of shots are going to come out. But the fact that they're slowed is basically going to be what is going to allow us to have a chance of success. Only getting hit once on the first phase is pretty solid. Uh, the second phase doesn't offer too much of an increased challenge, except for those purple homing shots, obviously. Uh, but provided we can keep some fire on him at all times and keep him slow, that shouldn't be too bad. Surprisingly, this fight is not turning out badly at all. It might get a little bit more difficult once the Angel Fetuses come in. Or maybe it'll get easier, who knows. I mean, I can't understand why it would. He starts spamming Crack the Sky, so either way it would get, uh more difficult, or at least more randomly, or more n randomly natured. I've never really used that turn of phrase before. We only lost one spirit heart there, that's pretty awesome. Down to the chest in record time, basically. Please, a compass would be beautiful. Uh, that is Ghost Baby. That is Odd Mushroom, that's gonna be interesting. Ten extra bombs, and the Relic, okay. So we're gonna make a run at this, I think we might have a chance. Odd Mushroom, I don't think is gonna change the nature of our tears. Good, we still, we're firing still quickly. Uh, as well as um, still white, which is the most important part, again, thematically for this run. 
Still no ability to fly, though. That's going to be a, a sore spot for us moving forwards. Although it doesn't matter so much now, because we really only have one floor left before, uh, you know, the shit's going to hit the fan one way or the other. This has been one of the quickest challenge runs we've ever had. I mean, I do have Mutant Spider Sacred Heart, uh, as well as Spider Bite, all of which are incredible items for fighting not only regular rooms, but especially bosses. We found the secret room by accident. We got Mr. Mega, which gives us extra bombs, and the bombs do extra damage. No reason to fight Greed, I would say, at this point in our Isaac career. So let's just continue on these rooms where we're going to be fighting Super Wrath, or sorry, no, Super Pride, Super Slot, whatever. Basically the same thing, right? They're all going to be super fucking dead when I'm finished with them. Super Sloth is about to go down, I think. Very close, at least. Super Wrath went first. Super Sloth went second. We picked up some extra bombs because we killed Super Sloth last. We got the bomb bag. Items are coming like crazy. So am I, technically. If you think about the name of the run, that is some bad damage for me to take. But the Relic has got to start paying out with Spirit Art sometime. Hopefully soon, because I did lose some Red Hearts there. So I'm getting a little bit more nervous about the current state of the Union. We're down two Red Hearts now. We could always get some Red Hearts. Just from this room, for example, would be a perfect opportunity. There's another secret room that could possibly give us Red Hearts as well. The second secret room often just has like 50 Red Hearts in it. Come on, Loki. You know you just want to die. Any second now. Like, sustained fire. Okay, please be... That's exactly the room I wanted. We can always come back to that if we need it. Luck has definitely been on our side so far. I have the speed necessary to get away from Super Lust, and the slow is also important as well. Uh, but, the problem is... Am I going to walk over the creep? It appears the answer is no. Yamahart might be an incredibly valuable item for us as well. I'm absolutely going to take that uh, once we... Oh. Uh, once we get to the boss room. Because obviously Book of Revelations on the boss room is not going to benefit us at all. But it might still benefit us on our way to the boss room. So, we're going to come down here, and we're going to be dealing with the bloat, which is not the end of the world with our item setup. We really need to get behind him, though, and not take stupid damage like that. We don't have a battery or anything, so Yumheart is going to be limited in its usefulness, uh, but useful nonetheless. Can't believe I dodged that and managed to get through this fight reasonably well. We picked up a heart and a spirit heart. That is huge. Especially given... Oh, we're going to pick up another spirit heart on this room, plus a Book of Revelations charge. Provided I don't get hit, of course. Well, I mean, I would still get them even if I did get hit, but... Uh, there we go. So we're going to reach another dead end here. We picked up a lot of health very recently. These troll bombs are going to be a problem. We're just going to try to kill Pestilence first so we can focus on Super War. There we go. And uh, taking damage there is not the end of the world. Remember, I beat Isaac only getting hit once. I want to have more leeway for when I uh, fight Blue Baby, but if I have to, it at least appears... Like, I've got a decent opportunity to uh, do so. That was terrible damage for me to take a gamble. We're done. We've got more red hearts in here, should we need them. Still charging up this uh, Book of Revelations here as we make our way up and to the left, where we're going to have AIDS poop, which obviously I need to break open. I hate this room, especially when you're doing like a no. Um, I was going to say a no tears run, and then you have to justify the fact that you're using tears. You're like, come on, man. It'd be literally impossible for me to progress. If I wasn't using tears. So I'm killing death first. I probably should have killed pestilence first just to avoid this exact situation that you just saw. Um, but now that death is dead, it's a moot point, I suppose. Although I did lose a lot of spirit hearts on the way. But that's how quickly swings can happen in the chest. Again, we have that yum heart available to us for the blue baby fight. Should we uh, need it. But we've encountered another dead end, fantastically enough. Famine should die very, very quickly. Pestilence will be soon to follow. So I guess on the bright side, we are building more Book of Revelations charges. Every room where we don't take damage is a room where uh, we are getting... Oh, that was awful. Where we're getting one-sixth of a Spirit Heart. It's probably my best interest now to maybe even use a bomb and go back to that secret room where uh, the Fountain of Red Hearts is hopefully never going to run dry. So we're just going to come up here, drop Mr. Mega. That's the other thing is that we have a ton of uh, bombs that do a lot of damage each, which could be very beneficial for us. So between that and the Yum Heart, I really like our chances here. Obviously, we've slowed down a great deal on the chest, but there's, you know, not much you can do about that. So I'm going to try to take out the easy one first. I believe that's what they say in Sun Tzu's The Art of War. I'm just joking. I never read The Art of War. I had a friend who used to run, a, like, a Shogun 2 gameplay channel. He told me that in order to get ready to play Shogun online, he read uh, The Art of War, which is pretty crazy. 
Anyway, we're gonna break this down and then see what we've got going on up here. We are going to have a couple of Monstro 2s, which really shouldn't be too bad in the whole scheme of things. Especially if we can get a nice drop on them with that bomb. Which we can't, <laughs> apparently. I don't know, I, I thought the green guy would hurt them, but uh, I'm not sure if he did. Maybe it might have just been because he was in the air. Now, in Monstro 2 here, I haven't even been focusing on uh, getting him to do the laser attack, just because we're killing him so quickly. I guess it doesn't really matter uh, in the whole scheme of things anyway. So again, hearts were okay for hearts. I don't need to backtrack yet, but I probably will in the near future. Especially if I continue taking damage against stupid enemies like the Wicked here. Mind you, I mean, three Wicked's is not a an easy room necessarily, uh, but it shouldn't be a room that I'm taking a lot of damage on, if any. Okay, we lost one heart, picked up a half, picked up two spirit hearts by way of the Book of Revelations, and we've reached another dead end. Should be a testament to how strong we started this run, when we're basically running this run vanilla, uh, and we've gone through the entirety of the chest, hit every single dead end, uh, and we're still in reasonably good shape, all things told. So this tarot card might be incredibly beneficial to Sun. Now we do not need the Yum Heart. Uh, it still might be better to take it, but there's no point in backtracking for it if it's only going to give us one heart. It's going to give me too much to manage, possibly, on the uh, Blue Baby boss fight, mentally speaking. So I'm just going to try to take out one of the Wretched or the Wicked here. I can never remember what they are called. If this was the Kamikaze run, that might be a problem, but it's not. It's the Every Sperm is Sacred run. Another Red Heart. So we are going to get back nearly to full health, finally! We've encountered the boss room. It took forever. Again, the Yum Heart, useful. Would definitely go back for it, but I can't really imagine a situation where it ends up being super important here. Uh, I don't want Mr. Boom. I want Book of Revelations. Actually, Mr. Boom, I guess, is technically better on this room. Uh, but we just gotta remember the most important thing for this fight. A, dodge. I mean, dodging is important, of course. Uh, but B, absolutely 100%. Watch your health so you're ready to use that Sun card when necessary. And then it should be easy enough. That Sun card may have basically guaranteed us the win. That's why Tarot cards uh, are such an awesome thing to have with you. So I'm just going to drop a Mr. Boom back there. We are getting a little bit lower on health. My dodging has not been as tight as it was in the Blue Baby fight, but that's all right for now because we have uh, some extra tolerance, basically, towards failure. We are going to get full health. We might even kill Blue Baby with the Sun card uh, if we were to use it at this point. And I might use it fairly soon just to ensure that I have... Uh, used it and I'm not going to just get hit by three angel fetuses or something and, and find myself killed. The next time I get hit I'll probably pop it just to make sure. There we go, we're going to use that, that'll kill the angel fetuses and blue baby and that's going to do it for this run. So as always, thank you guys for watching, continue suggesting your challenge runs and I will do the ones I deem most entertaining and or appropriate. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.